Hi, fans, and welcome to our Georgia Lottery Coaches Corner. Mike Folta here with the head coach of the Atlanta Gladiators, Jeff Pyle, ahead of game three of the first round of the 2022 Kelly Cup playoffs between Atlanta and Jacksonville. Coach, you guys are down by a couple games. Last time we were here at Star Veterans Memorial Arena, you guys fell five to four in overtime. However, your group had a really strong push there at the end of the third period to tie the game and force overtime. Did that effort by your group in the third period, the last few minutes, does that give you guys any solace heading into game three? Uh, I don't know. We, I don't think so. I mean, I'm, I'm not a big fan of it. Was, it's kind of like, you know, we, when we had urgency, we were great, you know, but too little, too late. Like we've got to have that from the very first uh, puck drop and uh, we didn't do it. You know, there's some positive things out of the game. We never quit. Um, but that's not good enough. Those two games, we had a chance to win. You know, we didn't play well. We had a chance to win. Um, so that's the upside. So the bottom line is there's more in our tank. I know it's not technically a, a must win, but it does feel like a, a huge pivotal game here between you two, uh, Atlanta and Jacksonville. How does that extra pressure, how is that going to affect your, your skaters here tonight? Um, I don't really think it should. I mean, we, uh, you know, we've been under pressure a lot of times this year, and we I don't even know if it phases these guys. I know now I think there's a little more urgency. Um, but the bottom line is, you know, this, this is why you play the game, coming back from 2 nothing, coming back from 3 nothing, coming back from, you know, 3 down in a game, you know, coming back from 4 down in a game like we did during the regular season. I mean, it builds character, it uh, builds confidence, and we know if we play our best game, uh, we will be rewarded. Tim Davison, the Atlanta Gladiators all-star during the regular season, is expected to make his return to the lineup here this evening. What do you expect him to, to bring to that back end here? Well, first on the power play, our second power play has been struggling. Like we're trying to make too many plays instead of putting pucks to the net and getting dirty. So that'll help us get pucks to the net, plus he controls the play. Um, defensively, smart, um, you know, good reads, uh, good gaps. Um, plus with speed and his vision, it kind of creates a little more offenses for us too. So we're excited to have him back and uh, just add, add steps to our lineup. Aside from Davison, what other changes can we expect here in game three compared to game two? Um, I've got uh, uh, Batesy and Yodes is out since we've got depth. Neely's a little uh, banged up. I mean, some of our forwards are banged up, so I need a little bit more depth at front uh, forward. So I've got Batesy and uh, Yoder's out. It's been playing great for us, but with our depth right now, um, uh, that's just is what it is. And then Neller's in net. Other than that, the lineup's pretty, it's pretty much the same. All right. Thanks, Coach. Good luck tonight and go get him here in game three. Thanks, Mike. That's the head coach of the Atlanta Gladiators, Jeff Pyle, on our Georgia Lottery Coaches Corner. Game three of the South Division semifinal between Atlanta and Jacksonville is up next.